Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create fractal pattern in Illustrator. First step, I'm going to click on the stroke and select the color. Now I'm going to long click on the rectangle, select the star tool, press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a star. Don't release it. Now press the down arrow once and twice, press Shift. Now select the pen tool and somewhere here we need to have a an anchor point. Click on this anchor point and then click on this edge. So this way we're going to find out what is the half of, you know, the triangle. So it's somewhere here. So I'm going to select this one, select the reflect tool, press and hold alt, click on this edge, click on vertical, copy. And from here, I'm going to lock the layer, click, create a new layer. I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to recreate this triangle here. Okay. So I'm going to start from here, where's the anchor point, the intersection point and connect. I'm going to go back to the layer, delete the original one. I'm going to decrease the stroke thickness. And I'm going to go to the effect, distort and transform, transform. I'm going to create some copies. I'm going to go, I'm going to create 15 copies plus this original triangle is going to be like 16 copies. Okay. And I'm going to decrease the horizontal scale. So around 90 vertical 90, and I'm going to position it, move it, and I'm going to change the angle. So it's going to be the angle is like two degrees horizontal minus two horizontal vertical scale 90 degrees 90 degrees copies 15 click OK go to object expand and what, right now we're going to need to swap this from stroke to fill. So here is this little arrow this way it swapped it right click on group right click on group and I'm going to delete this shift plus M or you can select the shape builder tool and select these areas, press and hold shift plus alt. And this way you're going to delete it. So basically, as you can see, I didn't do with the blend because with the blend, you can't distort this way. So we are also going to use the blend from here. I'm going to select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. I'm going to recolor it. We were talking about 16 copies. Okay. And we're going to create between these 14 copies because these are already two colors. So with these two, it's going to be like 16 copies. So I'm going to go to the object, click on the blend make, and I'm going to double click on the blend tool, select specified steps, and I'm going to type in 14, click. Okay. From here, I'm going to go to the object, expand, click. Okay. Right click on group. From here, I'm going to select the first triangle, the biggest one. I'm going to select the eyedropper tool, which is located here is the letter I, by the way, and I'm going to click on this color. Okay. This is the first color. By the way, I'm going to delete this color. So I know that I used this color from here. I'm going to go click on the triangle, right click, arrange, send back. Of course, if you right click, you can see the send to back is shift plus control plus uh, left bracket. So it's very important because we're going to work with, uh, you know, shortcuts because it's more faster that way because we got a lot of shapes going on in here. Okay. So I'm going to select this one and repeat the process. And look at that. It looks something like this. It looks really satisfying. So I'm going to select them all right click and group it from here. I'm going to select the rotate tool, which is located here. Press and hold alt click on this edge and I'm going to type in 120 degrees. Click on copy and press control D. Now, there we go. We got the first triangle. I'm going to select them all right click group, scale it down. And of course, from here, I'm going to go and select the rotate tool again, press and hold alt, click on the edge. And I'm going to type in this time 60 degrees and click on copy, press control D, control D until it goes round and round and it forms a hexagon. Check this out. So I'm going to select them all right click group. And from here, I'm going to go to the object. We're going to go to the pattern and click on make. We're going to change the grid to brick by column and I'm going to decrease the width until they touch. So I'm going to decrease to 61.5. Check it out. 0.6, something like that. And then click here on done up here. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to create a rectangle. And here you can find the pattern. Click on it. 
And this is how you create a fractal pattern in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.